Hi there. I'm going to show you how to connect your Microsoft Surface to a wireless projector. Um, in order to do this, you're going to need to um, start some software on your Surface and then enter in some information in order for the projector and the Surface to communicate to each other. Uh, it's actually quite easy, and so we just need to locate the software and get it up and running. Easiest way to do that is to either hit the Windows key on your keyboard or just click the icon in the screen. Uh, and if I start typing the word easy, uh, the projection software, if it's installed on your Surface, should come up no problem. And once I've done that, yep, I started typing the word easy and it came up. Now this is because you might be connecting to your projector on a daily basis. Um, if you haven't done so already, if you right click on this, you'll be able to pin it to your taskbar, which means it'll be on the bottom of your screen all the time. Um, I've already done that, so I'm just going to open up the software and wait for it. Now it's going to say that no projector is found because it requires some information to know which projector to connect to. Um, so for the time being, just hit OK. And we are going to hit the manual search button. And what this will do is it will bring up an input bar for me to enter in the um, wireless address of the projector. Um, so once I do that and have my bar ready, then I'm going to enter in that address. And then I, it will find the projector for me. So then I would click the projector that I want to connect to, and then I would hit the connect button. And then my screen would project onto the wireless projector. I'm not going to hit it now because if I do, then my surface will connect to the projector and I'll lose all audio. Um, you might be wondering where do you find the IP address of the projector? When you turn the projector on and after the startup screen, if you hit the LAN button on your remote, it might not be in this exact spot, but uh, find the LAN button and push that. Um, it The IP address for the projector will come up on the screen and then you can enter it into the connection software. Um, you might think, wow, what a lot of steps to do this every time. And if, if you had to do this every time, it, you're right, it would be horrible. Um, but what you can do is you can click the save profile button and then that allows you to call this um, you know room 24 or whatever wherever you are and you hit add and then that means in future I could select the right profile and then I wouldn't have to enter in that address bar again. Um, if you're going to connect wirelessly your projector and you're going to be running video or anything like that just remember it's going to be a little bit laggy because it's running on the on the wireless, um, it's communicating, it's running wirelessly plus projecting wirelessly to your projector. Uh, anytime you're going to do um, any video or something like that, uh, always best to hardwire in um, just for the, for the best connection. I uh, hope that was helpful. If you have any follow-up questions, you can email me at rod.bebus at sd72.bc.ca. Uh, thanks for watching. See you later.